Right, if you've just got your new brake and you wanted to shorten your hoses, it's a really simple operation. All we need to do, remove your wheel. And all we have to do is unscrew the 8mm shroud. Now we don't have to worry about any oil coming out because we've left the lid on so this holds the oil within the master cylinder. Gently slide back the shroud. Then all the parts are reusable so all we have to do is slowly and gently open up the olive. Slide that gently down the hose and peel out the insert, making sure we don't lose a little copper washer that's sat there. Then we cut the hose to your desired length, making sure it's not chafing on any parts of the frame or fork or any other hoses. Then replace the insert back inside. Also replacing the washer there. Then gently slide up the shroud and replace it back on to your master cylinder and screw the shroud up. Now if you do find that you're getting your wires that are all wrapping up when you come to tighten up your hose, we can, we can soon get around that by unscrewing the master cylinder clamp and gently twisting the master cylinder as we tighten the shroud back up then. So if you just gently nip that up. And remove the master cylinder bolts. Then we simply tighten up the master cylinder, which then leaves it sat with a nice smooth running hose. Now we're going to show you how to bleed the front brake. First of all, remove the cap. Now we've removed the front wheel already and what I've done is just wrap a little bit of tissue around here and then I've fitted some old pads then so at least if we do spill any oil we're not getting onto our new pads. If you don't have any old pads what you can do then is take the pads out and put a small block of wood inside just to stop the pistons coming out all the way so at least if we do spill any oil we don't get any problems. So I've connected my waste pipe up ready to get rid of the oil and all we have to do, making sure the master cylinder is full of oil. And then we unscrew the 8mm bleed screw, pull the lever, lock the bleed nipple off, let go. Unscrew the bleed nipple, pull the lever, lock the bleed nipple off, let go. Keep doing this until you've actually no air coming out of your pipe. Just pump it a little bit, see see how your oil level's going down. Make sure you don't run out of oil in there. Keep topping it up. with your pipe, try and bend most of the oil out of the pipe, then wrap your tissue around the end, flick it off like that, making sure therefore there's no oil going onto your brake pads. So then after you've finished that procedure we've got to push the pistons back and then we've rolled the diaphragm out. Now no matter how well you do bleed your brake, rolling the diaphragm on is the most important part of it. If we, if we just put it straight in, you'll find that you're just pocketing air, and that's no good. As soon as you start riding downhill, your lever will come to your bars. But if we roll it in, it fills the rib of the diaphragm up full of oil, so there's no air in there at all.